Hello, I'm here to present the presentation portion of our video demo. And again, we are discussing spatial acceleration structures written in C++. I'm Tyler Hostler mathis and I worked with Cameron Custer and Chris Herrera. We'll begin by talking about our project goals. Uh, first, we wanted to build a simple ray tracing framework in C++. This would be nothing fancy. It would just support rendering simple scenes, objects, and primitives. Then we wanted to implement and optimize BVH and KD tree spatial acceleration structures. Uh, more on that will come later. Then we wanted to compare the effect of different build time heuristics on the overall performance of the structure. Finally, we wanted to compare our performance against industry standards. We'll start with the simple ray tracing framework. This ended up taking a lot more time and code than we expected it to. Uh, you can see some statistics from our GitHub repo down here in the bottom left. Uh, we had about 1,800 significant lines of code before we even moved on to writing acceleration structures. All of this was just to get a ray tracer up and running. That being said, it produced some pretty beautiful results. You can see we have some spheres rendered with glass refraction and metal reflection up in the top left, as well as a focus blur on the camera. We also have some object files being rendered down in the bottom left. We have the horse there. And then on the right, you can see how light interacts with glass, forming some caustics on the ground. Of course, this was not the main focus of our project, but it was fun to have working. This is a great ray tracer until we give it complex objects. Here's an example of an object with 100,000 triangles, and we're only rendering it out to a 100 by 100 image with one sample per pixel and five bounces maximum per ray. We are testing the scene with O of N, so linear naive hit testing, and this took 20 seconds to render. That is way too long. So we moved on to step two, implementing acceleration structures. Just as a recap, in case anyone has forgotten, there might be millions of primitives in a scene and billions of rays being tested against this environment. So there is a strong need for really, really fast ray scene hit testing. Let's talk about what some examples of that might look like. Uh, we clearly cannot afford to test every object in the scene, so we'll build a data structure to prune out obviously clear objects. Um, some examples of this are a bounding volume hierarchy, a KD tree, and an ox tree. On the right in this image, you can see an example of a bounding volume hierarchy illustration. All of the objects are grouped into multiple bounding volumes, and we can first check if the ray touches the volume before ever checking if any of the objects inside of the volume were hit as well. So we can do better than our linear hit testing. Let's go back to that same scene with 100,000 triangles, a 100 by 100 image, one sample, and five bounces. And this time we're going to apply a naive KD tree accelerator. We have brought our render time down by three seconds, which is very exciting. Um, we're still not at log time though, so we can do even better and we can implement a BVH. The BVH has pretty awesome results. We can see with 100,000 triangles, we can render in about three seconds. And with 200,000 triangles, we can render in four seconds. Um, this is sublinear scaling, and actually, when you see some results further down the line, it turns into log scaling, which is very exciting. So we grab some more complex objects from uh, different websites. In this case, we have a ghost, Pickle Rick, and a complex kind of torus twisting looking object on the right. All of these with increasing uh, triangle counts. And you can see some results on our render times here. Uh, we have for 28,000 objects, it's almost instant. And then when we go up to 100,000, it looks like our render time about doubles. And then by 200,000 triangles, um, we are only looking at about like 1.2 to 1.5 times the render time. Now here's our problem. When we reach 600,000 triangles, you can see that our render time is spiking. This is because that object is a highly clustered object. Uh, even though our BVH theoretically has log time scaling, if the structure is built in a way that all of the triangles are highly clustered and thus will end up uh, with very, very deep, deep paths in the tree, then our render time will suffer greatly. To solve this, there is um, different heuristics we can run. One of them is the surface area heuristic. So uh, we can assume that rays are uniformly distributed and the chance of a ray hitting a volume is proportional to its surface area. So we need to minimize the total surface area for a performance BVH. 
Specifically, for each split, we would like to sort on each axis and find the hyperplane in space that minimizes this function here at the bottom. And this function basically states that the surface area of the left half times the number of items in the left half plus the surface area of the right half times the number of items in the right half should be minimized. And we're going to run this heuristic over all three axes, x, y, and z, and all possible split points on that axis. Unfortunately, this is still being worked on. This surface area heuristic is in progress right now, so we don't have results to show you in a video demonstration. Let's move on to the industry standard. It is riddled with hyper optimizations and incredibly fast. If you look at the graph on the left, you can see that our KD tree is followed by a BVH and then a BVH with a, a surface area heuristic, which is still in progress. And then on the right, those two little blue blips you see are industry standards, the Madman BVH and the Fast BVH. These beat our implementations in almost every single test. As a conclusion, um, although it's difficult to hyper-optimize, we achieved login scaling on general scenes with the help of split heuristics. Um, the industry standards are even more impressive than we first thought. We knew they were amazing, but we really gave it our all in optimizing these structures and still didn't come anywhere near what the industry standard can do. Thank you so much for your time.